Welcome back, everybody. January 26, 2023. And we've had some bold action from the sun, to say the least. And I believe we're already feeling the effects of these CMEs from yesterday. Take a look at this chart. Three large M-class solar flares, basically all similar in strength. But the important part of this is them happening in rapid succession, all within just a few hours. This taking place yesterday. And since then, take a look at the earthquake chart. All of the earthquakes you see here are 5.0 and higher, two of which are 6 point oh and higher we could see 12 hours ago over here by japan i believe this one was downgraded pretty significantly and then we had a 6.2 in indonesia 18 hours ago but even more recently we're starting to see these fives pop up along chile nine hours ago another one closer to argentina about an hour ago at the posting of this video and then if we check out central america guatemala and el salvador right underneath both getting hit with fives a 5.0 on top and a 5.2 right underneath again with in the last day now switching over to the usgs that recent earthquake the chile slash argentina border quake the 5.0 and again these may not be the largest quakes but it's the fact that they're beginning just as these cmes that we saw yesterday again all high m-class solar flares all within an 18 hour period you don't see that too often and again the significance of this is the fact that the rapid succession of these cmes are going to overlap each other putting more stress on the earth's magnetic field which is exactly what causes these earthquakes the sun and earthquakes are directly related in many ways in fact i often refer you guys to this website spaceweathernews.com run by ben over at the suspicious observers channel and if we scroll down we can see some of the charts we've been looking at in the beginning of the video and you see those three m-class solar flares right now and then you see how it's been a little quiet since then and that will certainly change we are going to be seeing a lot of action from the sun we can base that on the two groups of sunspots you could see here this up upper left quadrant and then down even closer to the equator this big sunspot right here was the most recent of those m-class solar flares now if we were to take the earth and put it right at the equator of the sun that is basically where we are so right away you can see that these sunspots are multiple times the size of the earth alone so it doesn't matter if these sunspots are directly in the center of the sun or even close to the center they're going to affect earth so when you put all this information together, we realize that the left side of the sun that's moving towards the earth is going to produce future action. And by action, I mean earthquakes, more than likely along the ring of fire, where we see basically 90% of our earthquakes anyway. But this watch extends to any place on earth. We've been seeing larger and more rare earthquakes over the last few years, and even more so over the last few months. And that is certainly not going to change. If anything, it's going to get more intense. My friends, I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch this video. Video. I've got some cool stuff coming as far as anomalies near the sun. You know how I absolutely love those. I hope you're all doing well. Shout out to Canada and I will see you all in the next video. Take care. Bye bye. Stop right there, my friends. If you have not already, click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Click all and you will get all notifications from this channel. And trust me, you won't be disappointed.